The Creature Constitution, written by Torin Anderson, illustrated by Chris Baldwin. Independence Hall, Philadelphia, 1786. None of the creatures in Independence Hall were able to sleep. Every night, the mice in the basement ran through the spider's webs. Then the spiders chased the mice. The crickets in the closets chirped all night. In the morning, the pigeons in the clock tower started singing. All the animals that lived in the building were tired and miserable. Maddie had the largest ear of any mouse in Independence Hall, and she heard everything. She worried that no one would ever have a good night's sleep. One morning, she heard the humans discussing something that sounded important. Maddie sneaked into the room and listened as they argued about needing a constitution. They need, they needed some rules that everyone in the country would follow. The rules would bring the separate parts of the country together. Maddie thought a constitution was an excellent idea. She organized a meeting of all creatures. And every creature came. There were so many animals in the room that they could barely move. Thank you for farming, everybody, Maddie said. The humans had a great idea. They are running a constitution. We should have our own constitution. What's a, con what's a constitution? asked the pigeon. It's a document that explains rules that we all lived by, Maddie said. We don't need any rules, said a spider. When was the last time any of you slept all night? Maddie replied. The crickets keep everyone up, one mouse snapped. Boo, crickets, yelled pigeon. The pigeons wake everyone up so early. It's their fault, chirped a cricket. The mice are the worst, said a spider. They keep knocking down our webs. We can't see your webs, said a mouse. The pigeons flapped their wings. The crickets chirped. The mice squeaked. And the spiders whined. No one could hear a word anyone was saying. The animal argued until the bell began to ring. Ding dong, ding dong. Maddie covered her large ears and looked at the hundreds of animals cramped in the room. Tired and grumpy, they weren't achieving anything. Maddie remembered that the humans she saw represented the different states. This room is too crowded, Maddie said. Go and choose five creatures to represent your group. The creatures you choose will present the group's problem at the meeting tomorrow. They will vote on what the new rules will be. Maddie's right, said one of the other mice. Let's go. The groups went back to where they lived. They decided to take votes so every creature would have a say. The elections last until late in the evening. The next day, <coughs> the creatures representing each group met. Everyone listened to the issues. When the group started to argue, Mali reminded them to work together. Each group then shared the rules that they thought would let everyone sleep. In September of 1786, the creatures signed their constitution. Mighty had found a way for them to all work together. The creatures asked Mighty to be their leader. Whenever the groups has a problem, they would bring it to Mighty and the other groups. The night they signed their constitution, the creatures in the building 
fell asleep happily. Happy. They had a good night's sleep.